so it looks like we got a, a nice channel here on that uh, live bluegill. Come here. Oh, he's a strong boy. Come on, over here. See, he wants to run, but I don't have any any slack in this line. Oh, that's a nice size one too. A decent boy. Maybe we'll get a weight on him. Oh, come on, don't break my line. Come on. There we go. There, guys. That's a nice cat. Hey guys, welcome to Hook by Hurley. Today I'm back over at Pecana Park again. I know, I know, I go here a lot, but gas is expensive. And so I can do some of my stuff here at this park for now. Today I'm trying to do a little challenge for myself. I want to catch a bluegill, a catfish, a bass, and a trout if we can. So I'm gonna start with trying to catch a bluegill to use for bait for the catfish. I brought my new Tenkara rod. It's a 12 foot long Japanese fly fishing rod. So there's no reel. You can see here it's a Tenkara rod right here. Wild water fishing. I got it off of Amazon. It's got a really small fly on here. I'm gonna go, we got a little bit of a breeze. I'm gonna see if we can catch a bluegill to start and put it over here on the catfish pole. This is a really long pole here. And we got a breeze coming up, so let's hope we don't get going crazy. So on these poles, you don't have a reel. Hold on, got my fly caught over here. The wind is really starting to take it, so let's try to get over towards the water. So with these rods, it's collapsible and portable. And then you basically just have your fly line tied down to a leader and I put a really small little fly hook on here and we're going to use this like I did with my other fly rod to try to catch some bluegills with this to use for bait on the catfish pole and then I brought my other fly rod and I put a bigger fly on there I'll show you later um, depending on this wind we might use that for a trout or I might just use my other rod with some spinners so let's start by trying to get ourselves a bluegill and not catch a tree here so you fish this very similarly that you would a regular fly rod you basically you're just going to go from about a what they call like a, a 2 to 10 motion where you go back to 2 o'clock and then to 10 o'clock and you just kind of whip it out like that and you let it sit and you can play with it a little bit so you just go to like 2 and 10 I had a lot of fun with this rod. I actually took it over to that Rancho Mirage place yes, yesterday, that little park, and caught 11, 12, I think 13 bluegills, some decent sized ones. I posted a picture of one on Instagram. I wasn't recording, I was just having some fun, first time using it, and it's actually quite a bit of fun. So I could see how this could be really good in like a small stream, or if you were to like go out in some waders over on the Salt River. So let's see if there's some bluegills in this corner like there was the other day. I don't really see any here along the walls, but let's try to get that first fish knocked out. I just saw a little bluegill come up and hit that uh, that leaf right there, so they're definitely right in that area. Oh, perfect. I put it right next to it, and it already got some interest. And what I do is kind of just lift the pole lightly and let it kind of swim through the water. Oh, 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 we're getting a smack. We're getting a couple smacks. They're coming for it. Come on, get it. Oh, he missed it. Let's try that again. They were trying. So I let it hit and it kind of sinks down a little bit. Oh, 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 they're hitting it. Come on, get it. Come on. I got a very small fly on there, so they should be able to get it. Let's try that again.
Surprised we haven't gotten one yet. All right, so let's go into our normal spiel here, guys. So this is my channel, Hooked by Hurley. My name's James Hurley. I like to fish all around Arizona, pretty much for whatever I can catch. Um, I live down here in Maricopa, so this is Pacana Park. It's my local pond. I spend a lot of time, you'll see here in this video, in my other videos here it's a good place to practice they've got all the species in here now pretty much since they stock in um oh crap we're tangled up a little bit let's make sure we're okay yeah they have all the species in here um, now that they're stocking trout uh, i have an instagram page also hooked by hurley it's a great place to follow me there i'll post pictures usually where i'm at what i'm doing and then um, people also message me there if they want to get together and go fishing sometime. I like to go out fishing with subscribers whenever possible. So message me through there. Uh, let me know if you guys want to go fishing sometime. We can go out. You know, I can travel around the valley, come to you. I also have tons of fishing gear, all kinds of poles, all kinds of lures. All you need is an Arizona fishing license. Make sure you got a license. 37 bucks a year over on the game and fish website or you can pick it up at like your local sporting goods store or walmart i'll put a link down below for the arizona game and fish department and then now we'll get back to today trying to catch some fish oh oh, oh these guys are really trying to get it why are they not getting hooked on this little fly should already have one by now they are smacking the heck out of this so they're not getting hooked i'm going to try to move it a little quicker through the water i find that when I kind of troll it, they smack it a little harder. Oh, he was on and fell off. I want to get that catfish pole in the water right away. Oh, 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 he's running, he's running. Oh, oh, we got him, we got him. There we go. There we go, boys. And girls. Who's ever watching? So there we go, guys. There's the first one on the little fly rod on the Tinkara rod. So let's take this guy off and we'll put him out here on the catfish pole as live bait and see if we can get a catfish on this guy. So fish number one down, bluegill. But I typically back hook him like that right behind the dorsal fin. Let's get him washed off a little bit. That way he can struggle and most fish tend to bite other fish from the back side. So I'm going to chuck him right out here got a little weight on there that'll keep him somewhat near the bottom struggling which I hope will help attract you know a catfish my drag for some reason on this pole is just not working so let's hope we don't have a problem with a big hit here all right let's put that in the rod holder and then I got a bell here put the bell on and we got the first part done we got bluegill caught we got some bait for uh, catfish, and then now I don't really need this Tenkara rod right now. So what I'm going to do is break it down. Basically the sections just all pop in here, one after another. There's nine sections. Be very careful with the last one. It's very thin. So grab it near the bottom. And of course I don't want to go in. Why am I having a problem with this last one? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and I just broke the rod. As I told you guys to be careful with it, I just broke it. Right here, see? Look at that, guys. I just broke my rod. Well, that's frustrating. All right, we knocked the bluegill out early, which we expected we'd do, and broke our brand new tin car rod, which I will be returning to Amazon for another one. Um, so we've got the bluegill out there on the catfish pole. I'm going to start for bass. I got a drop shot here with a chigger claw. I'm basically going to throw for bass for about five, ten minutes. And then I'm going to switch to my lightweight pole with some spinners and lures um, out towards the middle there and see if I can't get one of the trout 
Uh, I may even try the, the other fly pole I have, my Martin 12 foot or 8 foot fly rod. It just depends on the wind. Uh, I may mix that up. I put a nice big fat fly on there. So we'll try a bunch of different things. But we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can knock out the bass part of it. I want to get all four today if we're lucky. It is just such a beautiful day. I mean, is it not a great day whenever you're out fishing? I mean, whether you catch anything or not, I mean, we all want to catch stuff, but man, what a gorgeous day today. Ah, couldn't ask for a nicer day. Okay, so we've thrown the chigger claw over here with a couple of small bites. I'm switching to the bold bluegill with the curly tail. Um, I did throw a blade over here for a while for trout. Got one nice hit right as it hit the surface. So I'm, I'm excited that I know they're over there. And we're going to try a different type of lure here next time when we go out there to the middle. But let's go for some bass now. I checked the bluegill and moved him out even a little deeper. So my goal is to just focus on this corner for a little bit longer for the bass. And off that corner for the trout. And leave this bluegill straight out here for now. Um, and if we don't have any luck here in this corner, I am going to be moving. Um, I'll probably, the next place I'm going to probably move is going to be over there across in the middle. Because I know that's a good spot for, for trout. So we'll focus on the trout over there. And we'll try to put the bluegill out in that area in the deeper waters as well. Or get a new one probably when we go over there, a nice fresh one. It's a really small little panther martin. Look at the size of that little teeny hook there. I feel like these bluegills will smack this thing. They won't be able to resist it. There we go. There we go. I got him. Bluegill number two. Nice and dirty, but perfect bite size. I just le leave the hook in the water and that's how you catch them. All right. Time for another bluegill. And I pop these guys right through the back of the dorsal fin there. Make sure that there's no scales on the hook. Let's wash them off. And he's a nice and lively one. That's what we want to see. Okay, let's get him out there. Nice in the, d the deep section. There we go. We just got to know where he's at for when we're casting for trout. We're going to have to stay on this side. Oh, 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 oh. There goes the catfish pole again. Oh, come on. How many times are you guys going to smack this bluegill and not take him? Man, that's been happening on the other one too. Oh, 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 no, it's going again. It's going again. Maybe he's on there. Maybe he's on there. He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. He's swimming. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's on there. All right. Now my drag is broken on this pole I realized after I got here, so I don't have any way to loosen this drag, so let's hope this line will not break. Oh, there we go. There he is, right there. Oh, oh okay, I need to get the net. Uh oh. Alright. So it looks like we got a, a nice channel here on that uh, live bluegill. Come here. He's a strong boy. Come on. Over here. See, he wants to run, but I don't have any any slack in this line. Oh, that's a nice size one, too. A decent boy. Maybe we'll get a weight on him. Oh, come on. Don't break my line. Come on. There we go. There, guys. That's a nice cat. There we go. So we got a bluegill, and then we caught a catfish with the bluegill. That's a nice size one. 
right there guys perfect little side hook in the mouth let me get my pliers ah. right there guys if you can see that perfect little side hook right here with these octopus hooks on that live bluegill uh. okay okay death roll death roll come on he's trying to help me get the hook out he was going nowhere all right he's out now a little dirty I'm gonna put him in the net uh, get, wash him off a little bit here we get a good view at him he got himself a little dirty and all this this grass there you go guys beautiful catfish let's get a quick weight on him he doesn't feel that heavy probably just a couple of pounds here we go all right so 3.2 minus 0.9 he's or 4.2 so he's probably like just almost almost three and a half pounds a little under three and a half pounds nice size catfish here let's get a nice view of him fun part is trying to take a picture of him with my camera for Instagram and stuff while I'm also trying not to drop him alright okay there he goes see ya buddy alright that was a quick release trying to get a good picture of him but we got the catfish knocked out all right so we got bluegill and we got catfish okay so far no luck with bass or trout but i'm switching to this trout magnet it's an orange one which we know the orange spoons and stuff usually do well so let's try this trout magnet and see if we can get a bite on a trout magnet i mean it's supposed to be a magnet for the trout maybe we can catch something it's got a small hook on it maybe a a bluegill or a bass who knows let's just say see if we can catch anything we'll try this oh oh we just had a nice little bite there it keeps getting smacked you can see they keep jacking up the back end of this thing it does keep getting hit they're just hitting that little tail. Can we catch a trout today on the trout magnet? Oh, 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 oh. We got something. We got something. All right, we got something. We got something. I think it's a trout. The trout magnet might have worked. We did get a trout. Hey, look, the trout magnet worked. Nice. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Whoa, he's a feisty booger. Look at that, on the trout magnet. Oh, what's he spitting out of his mouth right now? Look at this. He swallowed someone else's lure that just fell out of his mouth. I don't know if you guys saw that. This just came out of his mouth. That's crazy. All right, the trout magnet right in the bottom lip there. Oh, come here. All right, let's let him go. Nice quick release on you, buddy. Get out there. There we go. Well, the trout magnet came through and got us our trout. I guess it does work. And that was kind of funny. I guess I'll hold on to this. This just fell out of his mouth. As soon as I grabbed him, he was spitting this up. Let me wash it off. Yeah, he was eating this, was falling out of his mouth. 
That was insane. Oh, we just got another good bite right there. Oh, just got another nice little nibble. Maybe we found a spot where the trout are, we'll see. I'll set this down for a second. Okay, so we've gotten two bluegills, a catfish, and now a trout. We still need to get a bass. So, so far, the trout magnet did its job. Orange has been a good color for most other lures I've used. This is the first time I've actually caught a trout on a trout magnet, but it's new to me. Like I said, I got it for basically trying to catch panfish before the trout were stocked. Oh, oh, we just, oh, we got another, we got another one. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? I think we got a bluegill. Look at that, guys. Bluegill on the trout magnet. Look at that. We'll take a quick pick of him too. All right. Bluegill on the trout magnet. Now I just picked these up the other day for the fly fishing and stuff, these little forceps to try to help get the hooks out of these smaller mouths like this. Oh, 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 come here. I can get the hook. There we go. Now they come in very handy to help get them out of the small mouths. I don't know where my crane friend went. He was over here begging for food, but now he's gone. Okay, bluegill number three. Well guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. We came out trying to get a bass, a bluegill, a trout, and a catfish. We we're able to get three bluegills, a catfish on one of those bluegills, and we did get a trout. So no bass, can't seem to get a bite right now in the bass, but I'm gonna keep trying. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.